flop, fucking Edinburgh fringe. What the fuck's going on? Make some fucking noise. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, we're here. We're about to get into an unjudged promo two on two battle. I'm here with my boy Double L. My name is Double L. Worthless. L couldn't make it, so I'm fucking taking his place. I'm sorry, no. I'm a little bit better looking, but not as good at hosting, so let's, let's do this. Better right. looking than both. We're getting into this two on two. Yeah. I'm gonna let fucking Double L introduce who's on the right right now. Yo, on the right hand side, we've got Mark Grist. Hey. Mix it, no fair hey. mix. We got fucking Eddie P and Frisco from Manny fucking make some money. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we've done the flip off camera. Mark Rist and Mixie one they decided Eddie P and Frisco on first. We're about to get into this. Everyone holding the fuck down, you're gonna Hold see some down. fucking fucking shit. No. Round one on Eddie P and Frisco. Let's go. Let's man. fucking go. Let's fucking go. First of all, Mark, there's no beef, Bredrin, but you look like someone's genetically fused Chief Wigan with Keith Chegwin. <laughs> <laughs> and next thing, you got a funky look. You're an ugly fuck. It's like a younger looking Uncle Box teamed up with Uncle Buck. <laughs> Mark, you fat bastard. I'm worried about your cholesterol. I'm worried about the fact you stink of piss and live under a bridge drinking a mixture of turps and kestrel. <laughs> and I'm worried that your relationship with Mix is incestual. <laughs> I tried to think what you do to his bum hole if you shared a tent with him at a festival. <laughs> Yo, Mark, this is just some friendly advice for you. I'm not even dissing you. But your friends don't visit you. Plus, they ain't missing you. Because you're so fucking annoying when you waffle on about literature. Oh. <laughs> Literature's fucking his head up, literally. Recently, his missus has been living in misery. Give it a lap. Once a month, he'll slide on top. Try and provide a bit of riding a missionary. Fuck it up miserably. Roll over and bust a nut in his dictionary. <laughs> I don't blame him. Have you seen his girlfriend Minge? Your eyes burn and your mind churns. His flaps are that big, it literally influences how the tide turns. Plus it's got a one way up the middle. It's got a one way up the middle looking like one of Bradley Wiggins' sideburns. <laughs> mix it. Uh, mix it, your bear's got an inch look. I seen that bitch in the park eyeing the bench up. The aggie wench was kicking off a right savage stench of shite, cabbage and trench foot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah mix it, you may have had bad views. Fair views. When no one's ogling in at your rhymes, they're ogling at them eyebrows, bro, you got three hairdos. <laughs> <laughs> they're not eyebrows or hairdos. They've actually windscreen wipers completely. He's got a non button in his button, he presses it discreetly, they move around his pod and cleans his head when it's greasy. <laughs> <laughs> cheeky! 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 Time on. Okay, I guess that incestual shit needs a rebuttal. You two are the only double act that like, make us look like a less suspect couple. <laughs> and uh, you said I've got a missus, but I don't, you fucking useless pricks. You do, and I will pummel that horse like a Peterborough legend, Lewis Smith. <laughs> look, this is poetry versus DNB. Dead poets versus base invaders. Conscious concepts versus nonsense bollocks and paper wasters. Credible artists versus groupies for chasing status. Sharpened cutlery yeah, yeah, yeah. versus baked potatoes. Yeah. We've been picking up some sweet reviews. We entertain, we speak the truth. It's a waste of time critiquing you. Clearly someone thought inbreeding's cool. <laughs> You've got no chance to reproduce. No girl would sleep with you. Your mothers had to be steeped in booze to bring themselves to breastfeed you. <laughs> See, we're prepared and wordy. These two have the swag of a curly whirly. You infertile fairies are only good for serving herpes and gurgling sperm season. If you need to know how to get to Sesame Street, you best ask Bert and Ernie. <laughs> in the room. One loser, <laughs> two losers. Big Bird's your henchman, pay attention. 
attention to the camera. Yeah, watch your mouth. Your smile could make blind babies cry. You're like the anti-Moses of ladies' thighs. Find an orgy. <laughs> Find an orgy. Put his face inside every orifice in the places dry. You're not artists. You're just wasting time recycling these played out lines. Oh, hey, Frisco, buddy. Oh, please stay at mine. My mum's doing shifts on basic time. Okay. <laughs> Find if you say the same word twice, it makes it rhyme. <laughs> That's amazing. Think of all the words we've been wasting. Get the camera, hit record, and I'll say things. Mana mana me, mana mana e, mana mana z, mana mana b, mana mana bo, mana mana e, mana mana z, mana mana we, mana mana z. Selector. Poetry recitals. I thought I'd come with a poem entitled Mark is Getting Really, Really Old. <laughs> Mark is getting really, really old. At night time, even with the heat and turn high, he's getting really, really cold. <laughs> His eyesight's going, can't see the writing unless it's big and really bold. And yes, that green shit on your penis tip, that's clearly really mold. <laughs> that's what, I've not seen it, that's something I've been told. <laughs> Has anybody heard Mark's poem? A girl that reads. He goes, I love a girl that reads. Not that. I like a bird that queefs. It's easy to please. Gets down on her knees and deals with two man's things with ease. Double, Double T! T. <laughs> Yo, Mark will fuck anything that reads. Anything. I mean, I like a girl that reads, yeah? But not when she's 96, equipped with a device so that she can breathe air, rocking bingo wings, plus a couple of other things in green hair. Yeah. <laughs> Mixie will fuck anything that breathes. Anything <laughs> other. Even if she's a Bulgarian weightlifting lesbian with leather skin who's funny for good reason, it's a place that no man has never been. <laughs> Yo, take it. Mixie, I'm just curious, like, how did you get the name Mixie? I take it your mates called you that. Because call me a narrow-minded, boring twat, but makes it sound like the sort of name that I'd call my cat. You hear me, And Mark, you've got a good head on your shoulders, but you should know this. Aesthetically, it's a disgrace. I can't help but notice that it looks like somebody's taken roll kill and slapped it on top of a pig's face. <laughs> Yeah, I mix it. You are a modern day caveman. And your mum's a raging pagan that flashes a shaving haven for rashes of Danish bacon. <laughs> Yeah, we good? Yeah. Okay, well, fuck yeah. these two dim blokes with minge jokes, you're the anti Santas. You don't bring presents yeah. or have a fat sack. You colossal damp twats with wank raps. Who really gives a shit about Frisco and his handbag? Oh, don't cry, Eddie. Oh, let's write another track about flicking beans. Nothing but flicking <laughs> beans. Oh, my mate once played with a clitoris, he said that's what it means. <laughs> Oh yeah, we both don't work for the BBC. We got paid to commission a piece for free speech. You just got mugged off on national TV. Yeah. <laughs> right. the, show, the show was called Ready Steady Drink. You freaked out the girl from the in-betweeners by pouring vodka in your eye for no sensible reasons. Hey. And you look like a you look like a mess guy bouncing around the Justin head height trying to get hype with your vodka covered red eyes. Yeah, they even bounce at bedtime when led up on their left side, dreaming of a sex life whilst clutching at their fleshlights. <laughs> Content and ability versus hype and bullshit. You are not a threat individually, and together you're like blind fired bullets, randomly spraying shots, hoping something will connect. But in one sense, you're literally armless wankers. You can't pull it off. Eddie B and Frisco are terribly simple. You lack technical ability. You skivvies a plimps or rubber on cloth. Only here for defeat to get stepped on and steadily ripped through. Yeah, pouring vodka in your eyes, somewhat less than beguiling. And Wi Fi is the closest this pair will get to a wife. And there's no point. <laughs> vibrate when the battery's dying. It's like, it's like at the age of three you were deprived of O2. Now flirty mobile girls still clear of you with those orange locks you may hope the future's bright soon. Vodafone networks are the only things that go down on you. <laughs> Type of 
guys that like to try original styles and angles. You're the type of guys that write shite, nothing but mum jokes in every battle. Don't get it twisted, your voice is funny. It's entertaining when you babble. But I'll fuck you up with words and I would batter you at Scrabble. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything, yeah. I, I, but you know what? I'm coming clean. I put my hands up. I see Mark backstage cleaning not off his face, pulling mixes, pants up. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's some deep shit. But you ain't the only one that's seen shit. <laughs> I saw Mark backstage giving Mixie a blow, trying to give Mixie dough. Mixie's like, I've got no crow, you can keep it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, mate, yo, Mark, it's no secret. Word. Mark Gracie, shit. Turd. He's like five times a day. Well, it's not that he intends to eat the mix per se, to eat the shit per se. It's just when he's giving Mixie a rim job, what can I say? He get, digs in, he gets carried away. <laughs> and talking about rim job, I was going to give your mother a rim job after I enticed her back to my flat, after she'd become besotted with my lyrics. But it was no go. I tried, but I couldn't get to the hole. The bum flop had all knotted together with a mixture of blood, shit, and winnets. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, tell your, yo, tell your mum not to come knocking. The way she's going on here, right, is bloody shocking. 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 I keep seeing them outside my local boozers after hours looking on a lock in, like, knock, knock, knocking. Somebody give me a pint and you can all stick your cock in. <laughs> <laughs> stick that on the shuttle, lad. <laughs> yo. Last night we broke into your van's nursing home after hours when it was dark. We walked in, all you can hear is, Is that Mixie and my grandson Mark? <laughs> We've been like, of course it is, love. We're just, you've sold yourself. We're just here to change your pants. Next minute, Granny's knickers have come down. Are we done the LUP and Frisco dance? <laughs> 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 It's Barry and Paul, it's Barry and Paul, it's Barry and Paul to me, to you, to me, to you, shit, it comes to this, it needs to disperse. I'll check you out the back in too, yo, it was good doing it to do. Yo, when I see your girl, she's getting the full English breakfast. I'ma stick my hands into the uterus, rip the eggs from the sack, carve two fat rashes of bacon off each of the fanny flaps, and if I should want for black pudding, then I shall reach around the back. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, don't listen to Mark anyway, he, he, he's always waffling shit. You know, he's been the one that reads. We ran round to a gal for the other night, heard a bag full of novels and scripts, and it turned out the only thing she was interested in was gobbling dicks. Gobbling dicks. <laughs> gobbling dicks. <laughs> gobbling dicks. Gobbling dicks. Oh, These two clowns came to our hometown of Peterborough. It was a mate of mine that booked you to come through. Therefore, I know you got paid fuck all and played to four people in what was essentially someone's front room. See, <laughs> we perform across the country to capacity crowds. You perform in your bedroom after promising to keep it down. It's like, <laughs> it's like we're battling a pair of bobbleheads, one of which hasn't even got stubble yet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and, and when your nub's erect, it looks like a spider with a hundred legs. Like, I try to think of a million ways that I could slaughter and slay you, but I'm still mourning the baby that's formed to this lazy, appalling, degrading spawn. It's frustrating that you're living your days where you're awkward with ladies. You're, yeah! you're cautious at Kaylee's. Your balls have got scabies, and mate, you bought that at JD's. Um, <laughs> Hey, look, but well, the abortions come late, we're now warning he may be about four shots of Baileys from needing watering daily. <laughs> you, you two useless wankers, you're only known for being abused and battered by Luna and Matter. Everyone will get deja vu when again you get schooled and hammered. Yeah, and a lot of people hate on Luna, reckon they can, like, bait him back, chucking out all this slating crap, hoping they can taste him back. I don't see what the issue is. I'll tell you now, we made the chap. I was chilling with your mother the other day and I still had time to shake his hand. <laughs> Don't think that there's a lack of ability, boys. Well, if I wanted, I could take a spot. I could easily, easily do DMB. Did if you these bees, we freeze these not. It seems easy to be clean, but you do to be greasy. A piece in trees, he what? Ah, slow it. Slow it down. I said I can easily, easily do DMB. Did he think that he's busy with freeze? He's not. Seems that he dreams to be clean, but he needs to be greasy. A piece in trees, he what? I can switch. I can switch it up to quick as fuck. You silly lungs are really just ridiculous. You couldn't spit enough sensible lyrics to fill a kiddies cup. You hideous. You hideous. You cheap cops. Your rhymes are nursery. You tea bag this little teapot. <laughs> I used to spit to you, me too, boy. 
boys to one night I jumped on a mic to bust it. I went, I'm gonna meet my mum in the mouth. Everyone went nuts. That's when I thought, fuck this. <laughs> you, you think his bum's fit? That's why you've constantly got your hands stuck up it. You dumb pits can't fuck with us kids, Bert and Ernie. You pair of muppets. <laughs>